Well, all promises need a keepsake token, so if you promise you won't ever do it again, I shall need your satchel. This... you... no. You can't have the satchel. This is all I have. Just this and the spell book within. I... Who gave spell you book. that spell book? This Such spell book dark has dark magic, magic in it. Anywhere. This needs to be dealt with. Look, I'll take it home and I'll burn it. I swear, you have my word. I can do something right now. Nothing. I'm sorry, what is that? Dragon. Oh, I was saying the word of a stranger is nothing. She's uh, still clasping it and mm -hmm. looking at Teague very nervously. You owe me your very life. Perhaps at least let me see the book. <sighs> Fine. She's uh, taking the book out and offering it to Teague while still grasping onto the uh, satchel. I flip through it. Is there anything I recognize? Probably not. The only other language I know is Draconic, but... You have no clue. It's just... Some magic training. Is there a way that I can try to identify it? Um, you could, but that would require the book being in your hands to, uh, right. um, search through it. Can I ask for it and say I speak under common and see if, if I can understand anything in it? Um, what exactly are you saying out loud? Yeah, I'll give you the book. Um, yes. Uh, let me I'll see it. Let me see if I can make from any... the book out loud. <laughs> no. <laughs> let, let me see this. I, I, I delve with, uh, I've delved with dark magic before. Let me see if there's anything I, I recognize. What? No! Look, th this, it will be destroyed. I don't want anybody else bringing anything loose from it. Last time it was a plague of rats. I can't, I can't have anyone else doing this. She's uh, grabbing for the book now. We can't stop it unless we understand it. I go to take the book from Teague. Well, I can okay. easily set it on fire if we so care for it. It will be cleansed by the flame of the dragon. Fine. Destroying the, destroying the book might not necessarily destroy the magic. We need to know what's going on with this book. She's right. We do need to know what's going on with this book. Look, it was me. I cast a thing. I said the words. I had the ingredients. I just didn't... I, I couldn't define what the spell itself was. I didn't know. And someone wrote this book. Some dark magic out there is most definitely spreading farther than just this book. We need to find out what's going on. Fire is how we usually take care of evil back at the temple. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to check out this book before we destroy it. So, what do you think? I mean, what does this book look like anyway? All right, so she I guess... can't read anything in it. <laughs> do do I have the book now? Did she pass it to me? Yeah, I have it to you. Okay. Do I recognize anything in it? Or do you... Um, as Teague is handing the uh, book over, uh, the woman is once more grasping at it and like holding it by the binding, attempting to uh, keep it out of somebody else's hands. Are you gonna just take it from her? Yeah, no, I'm a strong barbarian. I'm gonna smack her hand and take a look at it. All right, you um, smack her hands off, and she just pulls back, kind of looking at you in horror. I was almost killed. This is how you treat the wounded. Uh, you doubt? Do you have the book? You have to let us help you. All right, you have the book. Already done my sacred duty. Uh, you can't seem to recognize anything. It's in some sort of strange language. Ooh. Do you hear that background sound? Yeah, what is that? The time for that. <laughs> background noises? No clue what that is. Um... Sign. <laughs> Alright. Well, we need to find someone who can... We need to find someone who can understand this. <laughs> oh, whose is that? That buzzing? It sounds like demonic squeaking. It does! It really does! <laughs> Very thematically appropriate. Very irritating. Oh my god. 
Yeah, first of all, it was a motorcycle or something in somebody's background. And then it kept just, going. Yeah, it's, it's probably a motorcycle. That is a motorcycle. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, <laughs> head on over next to Arwen and do you mind if I have a look? And I, I hand it to you. See what you can make of this. Can I try to identify the language? Uh, sure. Then the second. It is so happy to be a motorcycle. <laughs> While this is happening, can I move over next to you? To where? Uh, over next to Amelia. Mm-hmm. So walk over. <laughs> but they're so excited. How I know. Not really if really someone that excited. Yeah, myself. I feel like this is greatly contributing to the atmosphere. <laughs> demonic book, demonic motor. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna play it backwards and see what it said. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> As you are holding it, Amelia, um, you are kind of like holding it like this. Uh, it seems to lift off your hands and towards the woman uh, very, very slightly and very slowly. I try to grab for it. You back to me. pull it back and you can feel light force, but you're easily taking it back. Um, Everybody can hear the woman mutter, shit. <laughs> and then I tell her, hold up, hold up. Just calm down, please. We're trying to help you. Can you please cooperate with us? We just saved your life. I killed that thing, she healed you. Just give us a moment with this book, at least. I open it up, I'm looking around, flipping okay. through the pages. All right. Um, as you flip through, um, it's just some strange text, uh, some diagrams. Uh, you notice that the woman seems to have added bookmarks throughout. So you'll be flipping through and there's a uh, bit of cloth here, a bit of hair there. Just like this book is filled with various little marks in it, uh, stopping hmm. from one diagram to the next. Hmm. What are you trying to do, anyway? What kind of foul magic is this? It's... Do you understand this? I... bits and pieces, yes. As I said, I didn't know what I was casting. It's mostly... It's mostly a summoning book. That sounds safe. Summoning, that's summoning. That's if you... Safe. If you don't understand what magic you're dabbling with, why would you bother with a summoning book? This thing is evil. Well, you're not gonna get anything good out of this. What? Well, okay, there well, must have been some deep reason. Are you trying to like bring someone back from the dead or something? This is not some all dark summonings stuff. are bad. There are certainly some good reasons to summon certain beings. Let's hear her out. Thank you. I'd like to hear. I I certainly don't agree. <laughs> Ignore them. What is it? What were you trying to do? As I said, I would never attempt to raise the dead or any evil being. Gr granted, I fucked up here. Yes, that is true. But... I thought I was going to be able to create, you know, like, like a typical summon monster type of spell. Summon a, you know, a crocodile, a cat, something small and you know, tameable. Something I could teach, like... like a companion. Her voice kind of cracks a bit. Dark creatures to train them. <sighs> Not dark creatures. Dark followers. This is a dark book. Of light. Creatures of fire, this all exists. Why not have a pet cat? Well, it's kind of... You can procure a pet cat from any place. You don't have to summon one. It feels different when you conjure your own pet, though. I mean... Really. 
what is what my mother said when she laid so many eggs. However, <laughs> any adopted creature surely is as, des as deserving of love as one you create yourself. Let alone a shadow beast. What were you doing with a shadow beast? Well, she said she didn't know what she was summoning, but I don't think it's a smart idea to delve with magic you don't understand. You have no idea what's gonna happen. How can we trust you to take this book back? Look, I... I can show you... I, I can show you that I'll destroy it. You can be present for the destruction of the book, if that's what you guys want, just so that I can be let be, but... You're not going to be able to simply destroy it. I... I know where I can... disassemble it. I can destroy the magics within, but... I'll have to... continue on. I... I can't do it here. If you'd like to follow me, that's fine. We can part our ways after it's destroyed, but... I will destroy it. You have my word. Regardless of whether or not you intend to be there for the moment of destruction. I want to be there for it. Well, where do you have to go? It's... It's a few days out. It's... An old property of my family's. Perhaps if we check out this property, we'll understand more about the book. That's a good idea. See if it should be destroyed or not. Or I can douse the whole place in cleansing fire. It sounds like cleansing fire isn't going to work. She says she has to disassemble it. Tell you what, let's go with you, we'll protect you along the way, and we'll make sure that the book is destroyed. Does that sound all right? Yes, fine. Just don't... don't mess with it anymore. I, I promise I won't read from it. Don't attempt to read it yourselves. I don't know what it's capable of. Then we need to close this thing and get it sealed up until we get there. Does anybody here have any bags we can store it in? We need to make this inconspicuous. Well, I have my scholar's backpack. We should shove it in there. She says casually. <laughs> this is heavy. Put it in the sack. <laughs> Alright, as you guys are discussing things, um, if you look around, you'll find that most of the patrons of the bar are now completely gone. Uh, there's still the barkeep asleep on the floor. The barmaid seems to be completely MIA. And um, the very few patrons who are remaining are just kind of sitting at the table, boozing up kind of frantically, really. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove the uh, ones who left. Okay. I'm gonna- I guess I'm gonna have to grab my javelins. I'm actually right by where they were. I'm like right where they were, so I can just grab them all right now, I think. Yep. Oh yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm literally just one square away from everything. Cool. Alright. Um, well, I'm gonna suggest... Let's get out of here. People have seen stuff that they probably shouldn't, and I don't particularly want to be followed. Okay. So I kind of shuffle past Amelia towards uh, Mika and like, are you gonna go on this adventure with it's, strangers? <laughs> well, it seems like a, a, a noble cause. A book like this does not seem safe. I don't know. I think it seems kind of fun. I'm gonna go. Fun oh. is also good. Oh well, boy. We should make sure the evil is cleansed. We can't allow someone to lose. Just what we need, a huge party of adventurers heading out to the middle of nowhere to not be followed. You guys better be quiet. What are your names, anyway? <laughs> I guess... I think we should get it out of here before we start mentioning names. <laughs> have a sufficient supplies for, mm, I don't want to call it an adventure, that's too exciting. <laughs> a quest. That was the one thing I didn't get to finish up for my turn. I have rations to last me for quite a while, so I should be fine. How about you guys? I think I'll, I just have whatever the Acolyte has. I bought right. extra packs, so... 
Well, you guys will know that you are currently on the trades road. Um, it's a pl pretty clear shot down, like many people travel this road, you might come upon caravans, upon more inns, that sort of thing. Okay. So, if you're not stocked up, it shouldn't take too long to find some supplies. Okay. Alright. And that is it. If you guys would like to talk in character and whatnot, you can, but anything else would have to, uh, go on to the next session. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah, I guess, oh, wow, well, time's, time's gone by. I didn't even <laughs> notice it was already almost 5.30. <laughs> so, what, what is everybody's character names? Um, I'm Astrid Dragora. I'm Lamara. Astrid Lamara. I'm Ada. Ada. <laughs> Uh, I am Leana. The name is Nessie for short. <laughs> That's so cute. The full name is Clytemnestra Argonia Artemis. So we've got Leana, and what was it, Amara? Uh, Namara. Namara. Mm -hmm. And then... Nessie. It so is. there's Nessie, and what was, what was your... What was, uh... Ada? Ada? Yeah, Ada. Ada, and... And I guess, uh, Amelia, what was yours again? Ada. That's mine. Ada? Yeah. We can all oh, try so, our, our So then wait, back. wait, which, Mika, which one was yours then? Oh, sorry, I'm Leana. Leana? Okay, yeah. so. I'm a bit of a loner, but I'm obsessed with the supernatural, so I'm willing to go along with people to uh, go on adventures like this, but I'm not too crazy about being with them. Like, I don't want to be bothered too much. Okay. I'm, but I'm very nosy. Drive. I'm getting crazy. I'll be like, what's that? What's your weapon? Where'd you get it? <laughs> Nessie will actually be very similar. She is fresh from the temple herself. <laughs> no. She's just a little bit pretentious. It's oh. funny, I ended up playing her a little bit different. I wanted her to be like really airheaded and stupid. I didn't quite come across. Instead, I got pretentious and stupid. But, you know. <laughs> hey, that works. Yeah, everybody's characters were pretty cool. I have to run as well. Yeah, that was fun. Get around for Hi. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Yes, thanks. It was awesome. Bye, guys.